This is a braille print book. Um, it's called Harry the Dirty Dog. And this is a book that I read to Marissa. This is my book from when I was a child. And my parents subscribed to National Braille Press's um, Book of the Month Club. And that's where this came from. So I'm just going to read the first part of this page. Because this particular book is in grade 1. And then if you can see this line, that starts grade 2. Harry was a white dog with black spots who liked everything except getting a bath. So, one day, when he heard the water running in the tub, he took the scrubbing brush and buried it in the backyard. Then he ran away from home. So you can see that the print is there. It's just like the regular kid's book, but they just added a clear sheet of Braille um, in that one. You can also borrow books like this at the Library for the Blind. Um, each state has their own Library for the Blind. The Library for the Blind also has board books as well as just plain Braille books. This next book is called The Littlest Pumpkin. And so here's the title, The Littlest Pumpkin. And then you can see there's a pumpkin. And here's the stem. And here's the pumpkin. Inside is a triangle eye, a triangle eye, circle nose, and a smiley face for the mouth. <clears throat> These books I use with my kids because they're tactual. Alright, so here it starts. It says, there once was a little pumpkin. He was the littlest pumpkin in the pumpkin patch. And then right here the kids would feel the pumpkin. There's a stem. And here's the little pumpkin. And they even do the little ridges on the pumpkin. So you can see how intricate and real they try to make it. I use these with my um, kids who are beginning Braille or who are pre-readers. Um, who are just learning concepts of Braille and touching things. That's what I use these for. Um, and there's a whole bunch of them. And they try to use real objects or <clears throat> make it um, tactual and fun for the kids. So... I want to show you something in here. It talks about a leaf in the pumpkin. Here they're carving out jack-o'-lanterns and they, you can see the teeth. And then here the pumpkin's hiding, hiding under a leaf. So they've actually put a leaf in here. Like a fake leaf. but And then you can kind of flip it up and see the pumpkin's hiding under the leaf. So that you can see that it's they like to use as real things as possible.